Greetings, timeshare travelers. This is uh, your timeshare traveler, and I'm doing a video about the preparation I'm actually doing for a year of travel. I've um, there's kind of six areas I wanted to cover. Exciting to travel for a year, but hey, you actually a lot of work to get ready. Um, so I'll go into that. Um, the, the other thing is, next thing is, I've been downsizing. I downsized from a two bedroom to a one bedroom. Um, place to live and now I'm going through and filtering everything I don't need um, well then then there's, then there's once you've downsized what are you gonna do with the place you're living if you own it like I do uh, I'm gonna rent it out but other pe other people if they're renting they can just stop renting um, so anyway so that's what I'm doing there um, then the other thing to do that which I have done is I practice first a couple two week three week trips just to see like what I needed to put in my car, so I had what I needed, and then I did a, a like a um, a three month trip, and that worked out where I was comfortable doing everything. Um, uh, the other thing, probably the hardest thing, is taking care of your mail of all things. But um, I've resolved that by you can get UPS, but I'll go into that in great detail here in a minute, um, and identify places where you can stop for short periods if you a have a break in your booking or anything like that. So I'll go into each one of those in uh, greater detail. But before I do, here's a little bit about my channel um, and then I'll be right back to go through some more. Hi, this is Cliff and I'm your timeshare traveler. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel is improving your timeshare travels. I'll do this through timeshare video reviews, tips for using timeshares and much, much more. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav. Twitter at Timeshare Trav and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. And if you like my videos, don't forget to click subscribe below. Welcome back. Um, now I'm going to talk about downsizing, and the key word phrase here is be minimal. Um, uh, first thing is kind of the caveat is if you're a person who holds on to things then traveling for a year may be really expensive or difficult uh, because expensive you have to keep everything and have everything can taken care of um, I don't I don't want to be worrying about things left behind so it's kind of my rule of thumb is I'm in a 600 square foot house now if I don't wear it for two months it's a good candidate to donate and if I don't use it for two months it's a good candidate to donate. Those are kind of my my rules, and I'm actually getting rid of a, a lot of furniture so that my 600 square foot looks uh, not overly crowded um, because that gives me a sense of, and if I need to just store a little bit of stuff, it won't be that expensive and I can enjoy myself. Um, and that's it for downsizing. Let me now jump into what to do with your current place. Okay, one of the things that seems obvious, but what do you do with your current place? In in my case, I actually am, I'm renting it out, and I, I have uh, other properties, so I have a place to store the furniture underneath one of them. But really, the reason I'm renting out my place is I, I didn't want to have to worry about someone breaking in while I was traveling or have deal with um, you know a, a effectively a renter that I was paying to stay. So I'm just renting it out, and I have a management company that um uh does that so it's an easy relatively for me it's an easy choice um so again if you're a renter you can stop renting um and again i have friends and and my uh kids uh to do you know if i want to stop off but i i have um uh, I have other friends who've actually paid someone for short two month uh trips to do house sitting so that's another recommendation I, so the most critical thing that I found was practicing shorter trips because it's a, you know, you get all excited and, you know, I'm going to do this traveling and, you know, it's all, it is actually exciting, but, um, it's also, uh, daunting as the, on the other side. So practice shorter trips, uh, make sure you can live with what you put in your car. In my case, since I'm not, I'm not in an RV, I'm in a timeshare. So it's really what I can carry in my car. Um, I did a few two week trips followed by a three month trip. Uh, two week trips were good that they were one cycle before you absolutely needed to do wash clothes. And that kind of gave me a sense of, well, did I have about the right amount of stuff and, and everything? Um, 
it's also a good chance to see what you forget. Mine was not enough. I I I, I just assumed I I'd uh, just needed enough underwear and socks. Seemed for some whatever reason they seem to be the things that you need to have just have uh, extras of. Um, uh, see what you do too much of. I I don't know why I thought I needed four pairs of shoes. I'm not going to work. I'm not trying to color coordinate. I'm mostly wearing jeans. So I only needed two pairs of shoes, really. And you know what? You could buy another pair of shoes while you're traveling. So um, that's the thing that you, you kind of realize is you're not going to Mars. So you can buy what you, you forget. And that was one of, one of the sort of, I would say, the lessons learned from the short trips and even the three-month trip. Um, and then and the three-month trip was good because in the two weeks, you can stay two days here, three days there. And it's, you know, it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's not that big a deal. But if you're gone for three months, I discovered that really, you know, there are exceptions. But in general, I want to stay at least a week in one unit. I don't want to see how much I can pack and unpack and um, that becomes too much of a burden. So I, I realized that um, staying a week, that was kind of probably my biggest lesson learned on that. Well, sometimes uh, this, this section is about uh, taking care of the mail. Sometimes you would think the simplest things like getting your mail would be, you know, easy to do. And, and the, 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 probably the most generic uh, solution is a UPS store was an example of what I've done. And it's somewhere between $25 and $35 a month, depending on the services you get. They go, you know, they'll go through your junk mail and, and then, then you pay extra then when you say, please ship me everything I've got. Um, or in my case, I have a friend who agreed for uh, to take uh, most of my mail. I have pretty much everything done online. I've tried it again. Part of the uh, minimalist downsizing was don't try not to get a lot of mail. Most of the mail I get is not wanted. It's almost all junk mail. And the last key step I, I, I find useful, I even found it during, and this is one thing I discovered in the three month uh, trip. I actually stopped in to see a friend and, and um, we had, had a great time. It was a good break from, uh, you know, being, being in the timeshares, uh, I had a great time exploring, but then I just wanted to talk, you know, sort of share what I had learned and, you know, Zoom meetings with my relatives and friends and kids only was good for so much. So have a spot, I, I recommend, just have a spot with some friends where you can drop in and just sort of like, um, I don't know, unwind. Uh, I don't know if it's unwind from traveling. That doesn't seem uh, too hard, but it, I, I just found that helpful to have a connection with someone. Uh, since I'm traveling alone, have a connection with somebody you know well. Well, anyway, that's um, all my experience getting ready to travel. And I'm just about to head off. I've got one or two more practice trips and I'm doing some downsizing right now. Um, but I'll be heading out in May once I uh, get my fully vaccinated.